being present in that conversation as you're listening because you start to read between the lines or fill in your own context as we're talking about going along with that, presuming, you know, what they're going to say, you filled in that story for them. If you're not present and listening and that creates such a huge breakdown, because as you said, the chances are, I'm not going to say what you think I'm going to say, Because what you think I'm going to say is coming from your brain and your past experiences. And I may not have even been in those past experiences with you. So you're bringing all your past into the present moment, some of which I may not have even been part of. So how am I going to be able to say anything related to that if I wasn't even in those experiences? Maybe what I'm going to say has nothing to do with anything that you've ever experienced before, but you won't know that if you're not present with me. That's right. And I think this brings up kind of like another practical application of this of like, how do I, how do I under, engage in this in, into my day to day? And I feel like this is where the miscommunication happens. You know, we talk often about thinking versus feeling, right? And in communication, oftentimes we're not necessarily communicating what we're thinking. We're actually communicating what we're feeling. But if we're approaching it from this thinking standpoint, that's where like that cross happens, right? And so if you are, if, if thinking is AM and feeling is, you know, FM, then, you know, which one are you tuning into? And so if your partner is actually talking through things, and especially if it's, you know, feeling like it's a share, it's an emotion, it's a, you know, this is where I'm at right now. And then you, you're too busy thinking it's always, it's going to be a miscommunication, um, most cases, but if you tune in from the feeling standpoint, which is again, activation, activating heart forward, right. Then you can start to understand that when you are present, you're, you're in the heart, you're in the moment, you're in the feeling and you don't, we don't think feelings. We, we feel feelings. You feel them. We're connected. That's, that's connected. Right? That's why people yeah. say, oh, I feel that. They don't go, oh, I feel that. You know? <laughs> yeah. I'm hitting my head for those, for those, for the audios. Um, like, and in, in when I say I feel that, like I'm touching my heart, that's like a very common body language thing that, that people do, right? Like I feel that, right? And so you know, to me, that's, that's just such a, a key aspect in terms of the practicality and in the day-to-day practice of engaging this heart forward aspect in communication. So when your partner is speaking, you know, maybe first start to understand from the feeling standpoint. And if they are, then if you realize through the conversation that they are sharing their thoughts on something then pop up and, and meet them in the thinking aspect, but it's really hard to go the other way. I've definitely found that. For me, it's really hard to go from thinking down into the feeling uh, because it just, to me, it just takes a lot more effort. So if I start from the feeling, then I can just pop quickly up into the thinking and meet where we're at. Then it's just an easier transition. I love that. And when we're talking about listening and then being present in the listening, listening isn't only about receiving the auditory aspect of that listening is also about body language Mm -hmm. right which is so much more of the communicative process than what somebody might be verbally saying so you are giving those signs about when we're feeling something we might be putting our hand to our chest when we're thinking you know we might be rubbing our head a lot if we're present in the conversation and someone is communicating with us they are going to, we're looking for positive intent, right? We're desiring to connect with them on that positive intent. You can look at your partner and know if they're truly angry with you or if something is brewing inside of them that is creating a disconnect in their day, oftentimes by truly listening to their body language, by being present and observing what is going on in the conversation? Do they look defeated? Do Are they rubbing their head a lot, meaning they're so lost in thought and very disconnected f- from what you're talking about? It may mean that there's nothing to do with you right now. Mm-hmm. They're so lost in whatever is going on in the moment 
that they don't mean to be disconnected from you. They just have a lot in flow. So how can you then ask those clarifying questions that bring you back into connection? 